Hi friends, happy Friday. Yesterday went way off the rails with some unexpected dental work. So I wasn't able to do my typical Vlogtober practice yesterday. So when I thought about today with this big sense of eek, <laughs> I've got to post something this morning. What am I going to post? Um, I immediately thought about the breathwork practice that I tend to use at the dentist. So I thought I would bring this, um, I would teach you this practice. So um, this, 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 I don't even know, there isn't a name for this practice because it intuitively came to me several years ago <laughs> when I had a different round of emergency unexpected um, dental work. And to me, it's a way to stay in my body without being super focused on the part of my body that is holding anxiety. So it's this way to like, what's the word in chemistry? Is it titrate? Is that like where you, you, you add a little bit until there's a balance? Anyway, so being able to stay in your body without being hyper-focused on the part of your body that is dis that is uncomfortable. So if you've worked with me where we've like identified um, two emotions and like brought them together, but had a choice like where you fell on that continuum between them, this is sort of a, a similar practice, but with body awareness instead of emotional awareness. So this practice is based on um, alternate nostril breathing. And in case you don't know that practice, um, I personally don't enjoy it because I typically can't breathe out of one nostril or the other. And um, so I, I, even when in yoga classes, when this, when alternate nostril breathing is done, I tend to do this modified version and it really works um, during any sort of physical, the need for distraction, but still wanting to be in physical presence. So we'll start with alternate nostril breathing. I'll just show you. The typical process is um, ring finger and thumb. You cover your right nostril, breathe in your left, cover your left nostril, breathe out your right. Breathe in the right nostril, switch, breathe out the left. So it, it creates this this upside down U shape in the breath. So when I think about there's someone in my mouth or like yesterday, four sets of hands, two sets of hands, four total, not four sets, <laughs> two sets of hands, four total hands in my mouth. I don't necessarily want to be hyper aware of all of the buzzing and grinding and scraping that's going on in here, but I also don't want to, to want to dissociate. So the way that I stay present in my body is to imagine this U-shaped breath, but not bring it all the way up to my brain. I'll show you what I mean. So I start by feeling my feet. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk you through this like we're practicing it so you can listen or you can feel free to try. So bring your attention to your feet. Wiggle your left toes so you can feel your left. Wiggle your right toes so you can feel your right. And then imagine your breath on the inhale coming up your left foot. And then when your breath pauses, it circles around through your hips and exhale goes out your right foot. So the inhale, then bring your breath in through your right foot. It curves around over your hip bowl and exits out your left foot. Again, inhale through your left foot. Feel the injury come up your left foot. The pause, it swirls around, curves around in your hips and exhale the breath out your right foot. Then stop that, just let that visualization, let it go. But noticing how your legs feel. You feel present in your body, but not necessarily focused on anything above your hips. You can also then play with letting this breath come a little higher in your left foot, up around your diaphragm, 
and then out your right. Play with it coming a little higher still in your right foot, making that curl, that curve in your chest around your heart and out your left. Then a little higher, inhale through your left foot, up around your shoulder blades, your collarbones, and then out and down the right side of your body and your right foot. When I did this practice yesterday, up around my chest felt way too high. That was way too close to my mouth for me. <laughs> so I let it settle. Actually, I kept it down in my hips. So kept my breath in this cycle, up, and out of my feet, but around my hip socket. A lovely way to stay present in your body, but without necessarily noticing what's going on in your mouth. This could also be used on the opposite part. Let's say you're having um, some, um, some pain in your legs, some pain in your hips, um, and if you want to stay present, you could feel the breath coming in, visualize the breath coming in one nostril, going down the left side of your body to your diaphragm and back up and out the other nostril. So allowing your attention to go to stay in the parts of your body that feel safe in that moment and noticing the flow, the movement of energy in that sense of presence. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope there is no dental work <laughs> in your schedule today. And if there is, I hope it goes swimmingly and full of ease. And um, I will see you tomorrow.